What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be actually talking about everything that we know about Bethesda's new Indiana Jones game that was recently announced. Of course, I'm actually going to be going off an article, which I highly recommend you guys check out. Hopefully, I'll remember to link it in the description down below. If not, it's actually by TechRadar. Of course, I'll be giving a lot of my thoughts and opinions and a couple additional info that I, of course, you know, know and, uh, you know, my excitement for this game, etc. But without further ado, this article goes on to say that Lucasfilm Games has officially announced that a new Indiana Jones game is in the works at Wolfenstein developer Machine Games. For those of you who didn't know, Machine Games is basically actually a studio under Bethesda. Bethesda has so many of these little studios under them, and again, their own uh, kind of studios that are named similar to what they are, that are also working on the main game studios games, like for example, Bethesda Austin is working on Fallout 76. While of course we now know that Machine Games' next project seems to be this new Indiana Jones game. They continue with Bethesda Game Studios head Todd Howard is set to be the executive producer of the, of the project. At the moment, we know very little about the new Indiana Jones game. Even its original title is a mystery. Nor do we have any con you know, confirmation on what the story will be, when we'll get to play it, or what platforms it will be released on. Now that Microsoft has acquired Bethesda's parent company, Zenimax Media, however, StarWars.com's Lucasfilm's official news outlet has thrown us a bone, revealing that the game is an original standalone tale set at the height of the career of the famed adventurer. Now, considering this is an original standalone tale, this makes me think that Harrison Ford isn't actually direct, uh, isn't actually voice acting Indiana Jones. And some people might be like, oh, damn, you know, he is Indiana Jones. How can he not voice act it? I think it's actually a great idea if he wasn't, you know, to be the voice actor because I really like the older fashioned kind of way of let's keep games and movies away from each other. I think that the perfect example of this working is actually the new Spider-Man game series, which is being developed by Insomniac. Of course, Marvel Spider-Man came out in about, I think it was 2018. Terrific game. You know, of course, Tom Holland didn't actually voice act Spider-Man in that game. It was actually voice acted by Yuri Lowenthal and was actually a much older Spider-Man, etc. So considering, again, this looks to be Harrison Ford's last movie, which will be Indiana Jones 5. He's probably not going to be wanting to do Indiana Jones anymore after this. I think it'd be kind of cool to have a new voice actor and maybe even an actor to motion capture, you know, Indiana Jones. Uh, and so he can be, you know, the type of dude that eventually continues on if this game, you know, is popular enough to turn it into a game series. So I actually really don't mind that at all. Another thing to point out too is that because this is, you know, Lucasfilm is pretty much giving the license to Bethesda to make this game. There's reports that they're giving some of the, you know, Star Wars games license to other creators, which means that it won't just be EA anymore. This could also mean we might eventually see a Star Wars game be made by Bethesda. And that would, again, Bethesda is probably the best studio out there to make a, uh, a standalone Star Wars game. And who knows, maybe this Indiana Jones game is successful sells a lot of co copies. I'm sure then Machine Games would, of course, get bigger, and then they'll be working on maybe a sequel, a Wolfenstein game, and then they could maybe even work on a Star Wars game on the side as well. Again, depending on how successful this, of course, new Indiana Jones game goes. They also go on to say that Bethesda hasn't given us any indication of when it will be revealed more about this game with potentially being at E3 2021, going ahead as an all-digital event in June, uh, we're hopeful that the show could bring some additional details. Uh, it may not be much, but it is enough to potentially... Well, it's enough to potentially get us excited. Uh, again, who knows if they'll even show anything at E3. They've also got a little side note here that says, New Indiana Jones game release date. Unfortunately, there's no word on when we'll get our hands on the new Indiana Jones game, or, but we're expecting it'll be a few years away. Bethesda has already said it'll be some time before we see more to uh, reveal. 
which will particularly be surprising given that the company is also working on Star of the Elder Scrolls 6 currently as well. We wouldn't expect the game to be released at least until 2022. With Bethesda's parent company Zenimax now owned by Microsoft, we expect to see the new Indiana Jones game come into PC and Xbox Series X. However, other platforms are not yet confirmed. You know, again, I was actually reading this to kind of can see if they were going to say PS5. That's why I kind of stopped there. But also, yeah, they didn't say PS5. And that makes a lot of sense because I don't know if this game will be on PS5. We see that PlayStation has a lot of these new... You know, they're trying to real compete and have a lot of these new games as version exclusives to be Xbox. You know, they've got Spider-Man, God of War, etc. Well, Xbox are kind of falling behind. But now that they own Bethesda, wouldn't it be cool to see a version exclusive Indiana Jones game to kind of bump up, you know, Bethes uh, kind of bump up Microsoft and get them competing with PlayStation to have more, you know, version exclusives against each other. I think that would be really cool, but I also don't know. I think that a PC, you know, version exclusive to, alongside Xbox would be cool, but I also do want to see it on the PS5, if I'm being completely honest. I think I'd, I'm still unable to get a PS5 or Xbox Series X just based on the fact that they're practically impossible to get here in Australia. But if I do, I was probably going to go get the PS5, I'm not going to lie. Uh, because I've already got PC and, you know, PC and Xbox are almost nearly the same thing now at this point, it does feel like. So, I don't know, I feel like getting a PS5 would kind of differentiate things, but... We, when we do look at the trailer for the Indiana Jones game, we do have a little sneak peek trailer. For those of you who haven't seen it, it should play probably about now. Pretty much we get a couple of, you know, little secret things. We get a couple of books that have a couple of key information on them. We get like a little map, I believe, which shows, I think, what could potentially be maybe somewhat of the map. We get what we see a journal. We see, um, you know, Bethesda Softwork slapped on a on a camera. It, it is a little sneak peek trailer, but it gives us a really, really nice announcement to see that this game will be coming out. And I am very, very excited for it. I'm hoping we do get some more information at A3. It would kind of be a little bit of a disaster if you know we maybe didn't at least get somewhat of a word um but apparently yeah a couple of other things to say it will be a completely original story so again whether or not that means harrison ford is still voice acting is still a mystery because it could be an original story set in harrison ford's indiana jones that we have not seen yet uh so that that could also be a thing you know, the Xbox exclusive is still a big tag on it. I feel like it probably will be an Xbox exclusive. But yeah, that's pretty much all we know about the game. We don't really know a huge amount about this new Indiana Jones game, which is, you know, kind of cool that we can all speculate about it. But I would really like to see some more information and stuff like that kind of spoken at Bethesda's E3. That would be really, really nice by them. Uh, so we could get maybe some more potential information. But of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest gaming content and gaming news. Of course, don't forget to check out my podcast as well. If you haven't already, links for them will all be in the description down below. And as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.